Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? There is so much that happens in between the DIYs that I don't share with you on video. Behind the scenes at the store, trips to the flea market, and lots of travel that I want to start sharing. I'm going to start making a video every Wednesday. Every Wednesday? I hired Stephanie to be my editor. Why do you guys have tape on your mouth? I don't know. People say we talk over each other. I want to give you more behind the scenes content and share what it's like to run a retail store and a paint company. This is the start of my new weekly series. These videos will be different than the norm, but just know that I will still post my monthly story slash DIY videos. This is just extra content for those who enjoy it. I can feel it. I can feel it. In this episode, Melissa, Stephanie, and I are making a video from my store in Solana Beach, showing you how to make your own gift wrap from stencils, stamps, and paint. I am going to take the fly by the seat of my pants look and make the wrapping paper look super groovy. You have an idea in mind? You just I do, and it came to me because, you know, I see a lot of squirrels, and I was told I need to make a plan. It actually popped into my head just like a squirrel running by, but it went in and not by. <laughs> Have y'all heard of Janie Ray Vintage? She has these amazing stencils, and I'm gonna play with some of her stencils. Are you guys gonna dance with me at the end of the video? Of course. Dancing <laughs> is our life. I'm gonna create wrapping paper by stamping it continually. I'm gonna stamp it all the way across and then I'm gonna wrap the gift with it. It's gonna be really good. We're gonna show you step by step, and then we'll be back for the dance. Are we dancing to Christmas music? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. Melissa, my store manager, freehanded some designs onto craft paper using DIY paint and golden ticket. The croc stamp from Iron Orchid Design by pressing the stamp into a white ink pad and creating a design across the surface of the craft paper. And I can only do so much Christmas music. Stephanie is using the grain sack stencil from Jamie Ray Vintage. We sell these stencils in our shop and they're coming soon to our website. The key to a sharp line when stenciling is offloading your brush to prevent bleed through. Melissa is now wrapping the gift with the paper that she created but you can also wrap blank paper first and then create on the finished box. We will show you that in the next part of the video. I have been loving all of the seaside stuff because Debbie store, when I first met her, it was all seashells. So she still has a few left in the store. We chose the color of the stripes and it was turquoise and I thought, oh my gosh, it's beachy still. But Stephanie, you actually wrapped your package first? I did. I wrapped my package first and then I took one of the amazing Jamie Ray vintage stencils and I stenciled this design right on the front. Remember the days of staying up late when we snuck in Lisa is using marquee and old 57 to create stripes on a pre-wrapped box. Because DIY paint is so heavily pigmented, you need very little paint and it won't seep through your paper. 
Stephanie is wrapping up her box with the paper she made from the grain sack stencil and adding embellishments from the dollar store. There was a time when I believed that I just didn't have the skills to create beautiful stencil work. Then I discovered Jamie Ray stencils. Her stencils are much thicker and the quality of her brushes make a huge difference. Use painter's tape to get a good sharp line or mask off different areas so you can switch up the colors. On November 30th, you can come to our shop in Solana Beach and wrap a gift for free at our gift wrap bar. Or you can go to DIYPaint.co to find a DIY paint retailer who is hosting a free gift wrap bar near you. So are you guys up for a little dance? Yes, teach us. Oh, please. Okay, up. I'm going to teach you my signature move. Okay. Right? It's like this. So you kick your leg out and you go like this. I'm and then you got to combine it with this. And then Whoa. you jump up and down and turn around. Show me again. <laughs> I spend the money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change. Come on. Bottle about to make it rain. Let me give you something now to celebrate. Come on. Mm. And go. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do, I just feel so good. Good, good. Oh, I just feel so good. Good, good. Go. Oh, I just feel so good. If you would like to take a class with me or dance with me in person, I will be in Zanesville, Ohio on December 7th with Dion Woods of the Turquoise Iris and Kelly Weiler of Girl Upcycled. You can get your tickets at girlupcycled.com. There are just 10 tickets left. I Hope to see you there. I just feel so good. Stay tuned for new videos every Wednesday. More DIYs, more stories, more video of my trip to France and my upcoming trip to Ohio. To find DIY paint in your area, to sell DIY paint in your store, or to find out more about the products that we used in this video, or to find a free workshop or class near you, click the link below. Thanks for watching. Got to keep the feeling going on and on. If you feel it, just dance along, dance along. Oh, I just feel so good.